Tutorial number 10, this is looking at the song editor for Nano Loop 2.3. Um, the song editor is pretty basic, there's no copy or paste function really, there's no insert or delete function really, although you can. there's a couple of little tricks that you can do. The song editor is basically a very structured way of organizing the patterns that you've saved in the file menu. In the top left hand corner you can see R, this indicates the channel. Bottom left you can see a pause symbol which indicates that things are currently paused. In the top right you can see the you can see a zero which is the current page of the pattern editor. Sorry, I keep saying pattern editor, of the song editor. Song. Song editor. If you move to the right, you can see this number going up um, because we're on the next page. If you hold down A and press uh, left and right, this will move you all the way up to the top of the song, which goes up to E. So that gives you uh, 15, 16, quite a, whole, quite a lot of pages, which is kind of cool. Um, you can press start anywhere in the editor, and you can see the little gray, it looks gray, but it's actually black on the Game Boy. You can see the indicator for where the song editor currently is. The song editor actually follows, it will actually move along to follow the cursor. Um, which is kind of useful. Um, I'll show you a couple more things with that in a minute. Um, you can also see uh, one in the bottom right hand corner. This shows you where the cursor currently is. So if we move back one page, the cursor changes to a little black lined icon, which is, you, you can actually see it um, a lot easier on the Game Boy than you can on the video. Um, this shows you the page that the cursor is currently on in the place that the cursor is currently on. But if you look in the top right, you can see we're on page 0. If we skip to page 2, you can see that we're now on page 2, the cursor's on page 2, so this shows you exactly where the cursor is as opposed to where it is in the pattern. Okay, let's skip out of this. Go to our file menu quickly. Here we've got our um, amazing demo song. Um, we're just going to use a few of these to make a very, very quick tune. Here we've got kick, little squeaky sounds, and bass, and a little bit of percussion. Here we've got a little very simple percussion edit. A couple of squeaky edit things. A couple more squeaky edit things. Um, if you look, these are all at 120 BPM, but we've got another kick here, which is at 90 BPM. Um, that'll be relevant just a little bit later. So let's go back out to the song editor. Um, because the song editor is kind of difficult to manipulate in large chunks, I'd actually recommend you start on page one in case you want to add something at the beginning, because you can't shift the whole song forwards or backwards. Um, okay, let's get started. We're going to put a little bit of bass. Was that our squeaky sound? Squeaky sound or bass, I'm not quite sure. If you hold down A, uh, B, sorry, press up and down, that will change the pattern that you're putting into the song editor. If you hold down B and you press left, uh, press right, you will copy the existing number to the box, well, to the next cell of the pattern editor, which is kind of a bit like copy and paste. Um, you unfortunately can't copy up and down, but you can copy left and right, which is kind of groovy. Um, so let's put in a few of those. Um, I think we've got an edit on nine, so let's use that. Um, let's add in our base here, um, and then um, let's add in our kick drum, uh, oh you can copy backwards as well, so let's put the kick drum in here, um, if you hold down B and press left you can copy to the previous cell. I've just got a phone call, hang on a second. <laughs> Hello? Okay, Sorry about that, it was rock and roll. Pretend, pretend it's like really punk or really retro or something, I don't know. Um, it's, it's live, it's really, really live. Anyway, live, live mode, song editor, good segue. Um, so let's put in our bass. Um, oh. Oh, I've gone just a little bit too far here, added a bit more than I wanted to. You can actually kind of delete things by copying as blank zero. So if you hold down B over the zero, press left, 
and it goes back. Um, let's add in our percussion. So let's put the edit one in first. So I'm just throwing this down more or less at random. I don't really know what's going on. Um, so we've got our pattern set up more or less as I would like it for the moment. Unfortunately, you can't really copy a whole chunk of this, the song editor over to the next chunk for a repeat. You have to do it all over again manually, um, which is kind of ungroovy, but we can do that. I'm going to change this one to 5 for reasons that will become apparent in a minute. Sorry, I'm doing this, I haven't planned this out at all, so I've got no idea if it's going to work or not. Okay, so we're going to press play, and you hopefully should hear something roughly approaching a song. Squeaky introduction. Little bass thing. Beginning of percussion. So there you go, you can, you can build up the song like that. Um, a zero, of course, is always going to be a blank cell in the pattern edit, a blank pattern with no, no sound on it. Um, one of the things that you can do is, at any time during the song, you can hold up an A. And if you notice, it's just repeatedly playing the little edit, so the number 9 pattern instead of the number 7 pattern. The number 7 pattern is this one. But if you press up an A, up an A, sorry, it plays that edit over and over again. Um, the other thing that you can do, this rather alarmingly selects the whole thing with a bright green line. This selects the current channel for tempo. So if you remember, we actually had number 5 was at 90 BPM. So... Um, that will change the BPM for you, um, if you want to do it. That's kind of about it for the pattern editor. Sorry, for the song editor. Terribly, terribly sorry couple of other things to remember. If you turn off your Game Boy with the pattern editor like song editor like this, you'll lose all of your data, so you have to exit out of it. Um, then it will save. Um, the other thing that I actually forgot to mention previously, um, while it's playing, either in pattern mode or file mode, song mode or file mode, you can go into whichever channel you like and you can mess with it. So you can play with whatever you like, um, give it that kind of live feeling, so you can mess with the filter, change the LFOs, add in new bits, delete bits, whatever you like. Um, I'll just stop this for a second. You also, you can do this directly from the file menu, um, so you can add in new bits. Um, it's really, really kind of flexible. Um, that's kind of about it for the song editor. Oops. Turn this off. Yes, that's about it for the song editor. It is a little bit primitive. It does get the job done. Um, with kind of a mixture of the song editor and the file menu, you can make nano loop compositions just fine. Um, that's pretty much it in terms of teaching you how to do stuff with Nano Loops software. Um, I've got a cup. The next tutorial is going to be like a mixed bag of like little hints and tips and one or two kind of undocumented features. Um, and I'm actually going to do one final video when I manage to get a Nano Loop 2.3 backup cable made, but I haven't got round to that yet. And I really hate soldering, so it's probably going to take a while. Um, so that's basically about it. Um, the next video will be the last one. Thank you very much for watching so far. Bye-bye.